Sam, tough, tough end of the game out there, but proud of the effort that the boys displayed today? Um, not ready for that <laughs> discussion just yet. I mean, I'm enormously frustrated and disappointed. And, um, you know, they're a really good side. We knew, we knew how they'd play, we knew how they wanted to play, and we, you know, to the lads' credit, they did a great job of curtailing it for three quarters, and, you know, they, we, they hung around and hung around, and we know they've got such, such quality that we just, we just weren't quite good enough to be able to hold them for all four. So um, we lick our wounds and move on, but it was one of those games where we know against a side as with as much quality as they have, you're going to have to do it for four quarters. Talk us through about what went right in the first three quarters. It looked like you took away the corridor from the Giants. Do you want me to shut up? Sorry. I'm just going to look awkward. It, looks, it, it, it seemed like you were able to deny the Giants the corridor and the speed and the transition. Uh, is that how you reckon the Giants are gettable like that? <laughs> oh, no, I don't think I'll go into how I think they're gettable because <laughs> they got they got hold of us. Um, but <clears throat> but I, I mean, they kicked three goals from from our forward fifty in the last quarter, and we know that they're really high. Um, you know, a team that is capable of scoring from the back half, and and we. You know, we shot ourselves in the foot. We didn't probably get it quite deep enough in the last in the last quarter, particularly early. And then, um, you know, we made some mistakes, and they they had a couple of pretty pretty special bits of play and pretty special players doing a couple of things that that obviously got them there. But yeah, I think there was there was no surprises in the game. They played the way we thought they would, and we played the way that they thought we would. I'm sure. And um, you know, it was a good arm wrestle for the vast majority of the game. It, it never looked like it was going to get out of hand either way. And just a bit too good at the end. You guys have been really good yourself scoring from the back half, but the Giants were able to some, slow some of that ball movement, especially near the end of the game. Is there anything about the connection between the, the lines that you, you, that you saw out there that you might need to work on for future weeks? No, I mean, I think we, lo we lost the aerial battle, so it made going quick a um, bit of a challenge. So I think the contested marks was 5 to 15 or, or something like that. So uh, we struggled to... to to get a contest win at different different areas, so we had to control the ball a little bit more. But I still think we played quite a potent style of footy in the last quarter. You know, I think Carl went for a um, really good, dangerous kick right up the middle to Jai, and those those kicks start to come off. We start to move the ball pretty well, but um, we just weren't able to to just get far enough away. And there, you know, we know they're we know they're a good side and capable of scoring quickly. And um, you know, we, we take our lessons and, I mean, when you play against good sides like this, we've been involved in lots of close games this year and, and for the majority of them, we've we've stuck to the plan and played really well and been able to win the majority, but um, today they were a bit too good. It seemed like you were, so you mentioned Carl before, he was playing like that deep despair in that first half, first three quarters as sort of alpha, deep despair, and the other guys are having a bit more freedom to press forward. Would you say that's broadly the defensive Way that you guys like to attack, or I, I actually don't know what you're talking about with an alpha. I don't know. Um, well, I was a deep spare or... No, I think for the vast, you know, we generally play. Carl was pretty high today, and um, you know, he's he's a guy who we like to use his foot skills as much as we can. But I mean, I think they're they're a, they're a dangerous side. I think Daniel's had 12 touches in the last quarter, and you know, was really um, influential in the game. And I think I think. If there were lessons to learn from that other than you have to be good all the time against the best sides, um, some of it was around um, the players, you know, key players for them having having key moments. You know, there was one where Toby Green wins a centre bounce and then he wins a forward 50 stoppage with a goal. Um, obviously the Hogan one late. Um, those those key players for them being able to curtail them at the right time consistently enough was, was a challenge that was a bit too much for us today. Yeah, it seemed like uh, the turnover scoring was going very well for you in the first three quarters really dried up as GWS visibly started playing on pretty much at all costs out of defence. Were you prepared for that sort of, uh, I guess, throwing caution to the wind given they're down a few goals? Uh, how do you sort of... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, sounds like you heard our three-quarter time. I mean, we we knew we we knew. I mean, GWS they're a 
they're a really well coached, really well drilled, really organised side. We know that if they can get run and carry and handball game going, um, you know, they're number one handball metres gained by you know, a big margin. We were able to restrict that for the majority of the game, but uh, in the last quarter they doubled down on it, which we suspected they would, and it was just a bit too much for us. We just um, you know, missed a couple of key tackles. We just got, got our crumbing wrong in the forward 50, and um, they were able to, to get through us. But it was what we predicted. They were just a bit too good for us, really. Just a more positive one. Jack Gunston kicked four goals while seemingly playing a pretty complex role, dragging key defenders out of position and so forth. Uh, how useful is his experience and you know, his history of playing those sacrificial roles. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, Jack's been enormous for us, whether that's on-field or off-field for this year. He's... Um his leadership and he's really an extra coach for us whether that's in the coach's box or during the week with uh, some of the younger players or whether that's when he actually plays on game day I think his game understanding was really high and um, you know today he was able to hit the scoreboard and, and, and made the most of his chances because we know the role he plays is really team orientated and, and goal kicking is obviously the, the bonus so um, I was pleased he was able to come back in and, and play a really important role for us. You hear about in the, in the press a bit that goals means a four key forwards doing well. What do you take out of a good game from, you know, a, a Chol or a Dunstan or one of your, your bigger forwards? What, when they're doing what, what, what means that they're playing a good game? Uh, I mean, I think, you know, tackles in your forward 50 and being able to, you know, time in forward half and being able to hold it in there, I think, is always the things that you're looking for. I think, you know, Buckley was able to have a bit of an influence on the game today. Took, uh, I think he took four, four contested marks. So there's some challenges like that. If When we're at our best, we're not allowing key, you know, key opposition marks. Obviously, they're hitting the scoreboard, but... Time in forward half was a challenge for us for large parts of today. Really, we struggled to get it out of their back half and um, we just couldn't turn the ball over in our front half today the way that they could, particularly early. I think they had 16 front half turnovers at half time. So, um, yeah, that was an area of the game that we just couldn't seem to get right. Centre bounce towards the end of the game. You guys dominated the clearances from the centre bounces, but I think they scored 33 points in the end from, from their eight. Uh, is that conversion of winning more of the ball but scoring maybe a, a little bit less, getting that, that, you know, from Meek to Newcomb or whatever and, and escaping. Is that something you guys have, have been working on the last few weeks? Or? I mean, we always, we always centre bounce has been an enormous part of the game for the last few years since the 666 rule was obviously brought in. And I think, um, you know, if you look at, well, I think we were plus, you know, plus 20 odd for hit outs. Um, but clearances were about even, so we didn't we didn't get the most from from Mickey's work today, and um, some of that. I mean, they're a really good side, aren't they? So you're gonna have you're gonna have challenges. You're not gonna get every game, every aspect of the game on your terms. And um, the challenge for us is we just couldn't stop their scoring um, late late in the game. And I, it was more the full full ground transitions that that were you know when it's in your forward fifty, you really don't like conceding goals from there. And we conceded three pretty early on in the in the last quarter, and, and they're the things that. That hurt you in the end. Let's take one more. Um, can we ask one? <laughs> Sorry, first time in a press conference. Um, I guess the season's not over, but what can you learn from, from that game today? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think the standard you have to hold yourself to is so high. The, the season and the competition is so even. Um, it's not a technical or tactical lesson that we have to learn. It's a, it's one about standards. If you want to play against the very best sides as a, as a whole football department, whether that's coaches, whether it's players or staff, we need to be able to play and help the players play at the highest possible level they can for four quarters every single week because um, three quarters, as we, as we learned today, is not enough. And three quarters of a season... Um, is what we're relying on being enough for us because the first half, the first quarter was obviously not what we would hope for. So um, right now, I hope the season is still in our hands. Um, we play against the Carlton side who are going to feel very similar to us. They'll be licking their wounds after a, a loss last night and um, it's a game I'm sure everyone's looking forward to and um, we can't come quick enough to be honest because I'd like to get over this one. Thanks, it's a great first question, by the way. <laughs>